Hey, what's up, guys? It's SPO Channel here today. We're back with the second episode of my, like, last day of school um, comic book haul. In the last episode, we looked at these, the old comics, and now we're looking at the more recent back issues. There's a couple, like, older ones in this pile, but they're a little bit more recent than, like, 1995 or whatever. Actually, no, one of these is actually from 1995, so... So, yeah, we got um, Spawn, number 271. Um, this one was... Three bucks. Um, it's too. Apparently, it's too. I don't know when it came out, but it's a little bit too recent to be at a discount price. Um, the artwork is amazing. I love the Spawn comics. Um, I'm trying to get the entire run, but I've been slacking off because I have shit ton of old issues, but I don't have very many of the more recent issues. I think the most recent issue I have is 275. I think um, I just got these two today um, so there's spawn number 271 it's kind of got a wraparound cover Let's see and we got spawn number 272 which I love this cover it's actually done by Todd McFarlane so that's cool and the artwork in this one is, is really cool as well so there's spawn number 272 and then this one is from one of those Walmart three packs. Um, my comic books, the comic book store was selling it for a dollar. You can possibly get this one at Walmart in like those mystery three packs. So that's pretty cool. They're selling this one for a dollar. It's actually a reprint of Detective Comics number 935, I think. Oh crap, where'd my, where'd my, oh, there's my plate. I was like, where'd my pizza plate go? I have to throw that away. All right, so this is a reprint of that Detective Comics issue from Rebirth, but rebranded as a number one. So yeah, that's cool. Then I got, this one just looked interesting. I got New 52, Future's End, number 16. This one was a dollar. Um, it looks pretty cool. It had some characters that I had never seen before in it, like him. So yeah, it just looked kind of cool. I got it for a dollar. There's that one, and I got this one also for a dollar. Um, Earth 2, World's End, number 2. Um, I actually have the entire run of this series so far. I don't know if it's still going. Because um, I have all the new 52 issues, I guess you could say. If it's still going, then I haven't had any of the newer issues. But it's pretty cool. I This is a second copy of one of the ones I have. So yeah. Um, this one, this one, this one was almost 10 bucks. Actually, I think it was 9.99. But guess what? You see how it's abnormally skinny? Guess what? It doesn't have all the pages from the actual comic because I have this comic in graphic novel form. It's got half less like half the pages and some of them are like like half of the pages that are in here are stapled in upside down and backwards. Like, as you can see, it's stapled in upside down, but it's not even upside down, as well as it's also backwards, and then it goes back, and it's, it's missing half the pages still. So that really pissed me off. They charged 10 bucks for this piece of crap, and I really wanted this issue, because this is my favorite issue out of the first six issues. So yeah, that sucked. And that's Deadpool Volume 4, by the way. This is also from Deadpool Volume 4. I'm more happy about this one. It's issue number 19 by one of my favorite um, Deadpool illustrators, Declan Shelby, or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce his name. It has Wolverine in it as Captain America. It's pretty cool. This is one of my favorite Deadpool illustrators. Well, Deadpool specifically. So yeah, there's that one. This one was, I think, 7 bucks, six ninety nine, And this one was um, 4 bucks. Deadpool vs. Punisher number one. I have actually every variant of this one, except for the regular cover. So that was kind of weird, but I finally have the regular cover. And I also have a copy of this one signed by um, Colin Bunn, even though he didn't work on this one. I still got it signed by him. Because he's very important to the Deadpool comics, because he does like every single miniseries nowadays. 
Um, here's Prelude to Deadpool Corpse number two. I actually have this entire series. I just wanted to get another copy of this one because it was in good condition. They were charging two bucks for it, and it's I, it's my favorite issue in the um, Prelude to Deadpool Corpse series. Um, it's basically the kid pool story. It's just freaking funny as heck. Got milk? Sorry. And then I got also Spider-Man Deadpool number eight. Um, probably my favorite issue of the Joe Kelly run of Spider-Man Deadpool because it has, wait for it, wait for it, it has the new costume, like the new and improved black suit. It's pretty cool. And then I also got Spider-Man Deadpool number nine just because, um, even though I already have the entire Joe Kelly run, well, technically Joe Kelly and Ed McGinnis run of Spider-Man Deadpool, but I don't have anything after that, sadly. But it's just because I love this run so much, I'm scared to read the other issues. I've got Spider-Man Master Plan number one. This is a variant cover. This is the only variant cover that I didn't have. It's got the main story, which is like a flashback issue, I guess you'd say. It's also got a complete reprint of Spider-Man number two. Well, The Amazing Spider-Man number two. So that's cool. And then we also got The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3, number 18. Um, illustrated by one of my favorite, probably my second favorite illustrator of all time, Humberto Ramos. Um, it's actually the last issue in Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3, which is pretty cool. I actually never had this issue. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And then I also got The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4, number 26. But it's a variant cover, as you can see, kind of. It's kind of blurry. I'm recording this on my iPhone, by the way. Um, I don't like the internal il illustrations. I don't really like this illustrator that much. I forgot his name. His or her name, I don't remember. But this issue I just got, because it looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of Spider-Man action in it. And it's got an ad for my least favorite Guardians of the Galaxy series of all time. I hate the all-new Guardians of the Galaxy series. I fucking hate it. So there you go. There's that one. And this one's from 1995. Um, I just put it in this pile because I was like, why not? Um, Scarlet Spider number 3. Web of Scarlet Spider number 3. I don't know if it's the first appearance of this character, but it has um, my favorite character to play as in Spider-Man Unlimited in it. It has Cyber Scarlet Spider. Um, coolest costume ever. So that one, I got this one for a dollar. Then we also got all new Ghost Rider number eight. Um, it has Johnny Blaze versus Robbie Reyes. And this is actually the only issue of all-new Ghost Rider that I have. Um, so yeah, I don't have any of the other issues. I'm looking, I'm specifically looking for issue number one, but I didn't find it. So there's that one. And I also got, um, I think this is Ghost Rider Volume 3, number one, or Marvel Knights Ghost Rider. Um, it's a very quick read, I can tell. There's barely any words in it, and the illustrations are pretty cool. So yeah, there's that one. And they also got the Marvel Mangaverse or Mangaverse issue number one of Ghost Rider, which I got because it was a dollar and it looks freaking funny as hell. And it looks awesome. And no, that's not an actual signature. By the way, that's just part of the ad. So I got this one, it's pretty cool. And they also got Ghost Rider, I think, Volume, yeah, this is volume five, number five, issue issue number five, and I haven't read it yet. It looks pretty cool. I actually have this entire run, um, except for this issue. So this completed my run of, of specifically the Daniel Way run of Ghost Rider, not the entire fifth volume. So 
So there's that one. And then I also got Venom number one from Venom Volume One. And I'm kinda disappointed because I never I, I this is the only issue I have of this series. Um and I'm, I was sad because it has absolutely no venom in it at all. There, there's actually none. There's zero venom. It kinda sucks. But it's an issue number one, it's pretty cool. I love the cover, and that's by Daniel Way. So Daniel Way is one of my favorite writers. And I already have this issue. I have all the variants, including the more rare ones. Um, if I'm missing any, then I don't know about it. It's Venom number 150. This is specifically the first printing. Um, it's an oversized issue of Venom. This is this is the third volume of the Venom comics. And it's basically the return of Eddie Brock as Venom. It's got the main story, and it also has some like little mini stories in the back. It's got a cover art gallery, so that's cool. And then we're getting to the end, but then we have Timely Comics Carnage number one. Um, this collects the first three issues of Carnage Volume Two, and it was three bucks, because that's actually the retail price is three bucks, one dollar per issue. So that's cool. And I got Gamora number one. Um, I got it for a dollar. I just thought since. It was a number one, and it was only a dollar, and also because Gamora died in Infinity War, spoiler alert, um, so I thought I'd get it. So there's that one. And I got Monsters Unleashed number one, which um, was five bucks, because the retail price is four ninety nine. Got a wraparound cover. It's a pretty thick issue. It's not super big, but it's a little bit longer. And I also got the last issue for this haul is True Believers X-Force number one. Uh, reprints the original X-Force number one for a dollar. And yeah, so yeah guys, that's actually gonna do it for this episode, or this, I guess you could say the finale of this haul. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.